John, you've been blamed in the past for holding players back. This transformation with PJ has just been a joy to watch. Who has yep. blamed me for holding people back? Do we have 40 guys in the NBA? I've held them all back. Oh, my God. I think we had four number one picks. I held those guys back, too. But anyway, go ahead. You're so fine. How much You're wrong the, again, but go ahead. How much of the credit should we be giving to you? All of it. Of it's all me. <laughs> like my wife said, it's only, what's this life about you? And I go, yeah, I'm the only one that works here. So anyway, it then just, she throws something at me. You say you love coaching players for more than one year. Sure. What, what does this say to uh, how the players can develop? Here's what I would say. This, this is a great lesson. P.J., without going through this, having to go in that league, maybe be a second rounder playing the G League, his life just changed now because he decided to come back when other kids all left. He made a choice for him, kind of like what Willie Cauley Stein did. I'm coming back um, because I need to come back. Um, the ego of this sometimes forces kids out early. If he leaves, I'm leaving. Well, what's that have to do with anything for you? If I had a chance to coach kids three and four years, I would absolutely love it. I would love it. At this point, it's not the way this thing works. Now, if they, and again, I'll say what I said before, the reason they're going to 18 is the G League stuff wasn't going to work. Like, we're going to let you all in the G League. Everybody's like, we're not coming. So now they go and we're going to let 18 year olds, hopefully 50 will want to come. How many will be drafted? Five, four. The rest will hopefully go to the G League. My thing is let's not devalue education. The NCAA in their infinite wisdom should not even think about a baseball rule or anything else. If the kids go to college, let them stay for a year, two years, three years. If they go to college, they went because they weren't good enough to go which means you're probably going to have to stay two or three years. Every once in a while, a kid will leave after a year. Now, they're, I don't think they're making decisions for any one program to help a program. Like, the education here will take over and we'll be – I don't believe that's happening. But I do know that we should not even think about the baseball rule. Let these kids go as 18-year-olds. If they choose to come to college, great. They have a lifetime scholarship here. Just here and just about every other school that's a, a, a top-level school, they do it. So now if something happens after a year or two, you got a, you got a scholarship. So my hope is I think it's going to be perfect for us. I mean, this is, I'm, so, I'm going to go kiss Adam, tell him this is beautiful for me. So it's, it's good. Uh, John, a two-part uh why? One, you get one question, Jerry. Okay, one long, uh, elongated question that it branches off. Okay. Uh, why EJ starting instead of Nick? And uh, what goes through your mind when EJ gets a foul in the first 15 seconds and then PJ picks up a charge in the first minute? Well, I wasn't real happy at that point, but my, my reasoning for EJ is he's playing better. I mean, it's not... I love Nick. Nick's one of my favorite players of all time, of all time that I've ever coached. I want more for him. He frustrates me. I know he's better than he's playing. I'm trying everything I can to get it out of him. S takes longer with some kids than others. But EJ right now is playing better. So he deserves to start. Now, Nick played 20 minutes. So how much did EJ play? 23. So they're going to get about the same minutes. They happen. What I tell them prior to the game is this is not football. If a guy has a layup, let him go. Don't foul. We'll score in nine seconds later. So it's not football. Last question, Brian, back to you. I was curious if you saw the video that Joe B did for you after winning 298 games for you. Um, I did. Well, that was the one you showed me. Yeah, I did see it, and, I, and he came to practice yesterday. He's, um, he's asked me to um, – I said, you know what, no one should pass Coach Hall. Now, I want you to understand, he walked into this situation following maybe one of the best coaches to ever coach this game who was here 42 years. There were people in this state that didn't know anybody else coached at Kentucky except – 
Coach Rupp. He follows it, and Coach Rupp was still here, I believe. Still had an office, still had the camp, still had the radio show. Ooh, what? And he coached. He got the Final Fours. He wins a national title. Um, and I'm just so happy the respect he gets now and how people treat him. So no one should go by. So Coach Hall asked me to just vacate any games that go by him. I said, they've already vacated some of my games. Maybe we'll just vacate some more. And at the end of the day, I'll be one less than him. Um, I know I'll get a call. Are you asking us to vacate your games? We'd like to do that if we can.